Hi, this is Nova Dimitri, and I want to show you a part of the hidden France. France, if you want, behind the scenes. Here we are in a typical street, in a typical French village, and you see the street is relatively narrow, and you see buildings on both sides with imposing facades, but plain, very plain, and unadorned, and, um, and simple without much ornament, without many windows, without much of anything. Okay, but now we're gonna go inside and discover a whole different world that you normally don't get to see. Here we are, we're in front of the door, and we're gonna go inside, and you'll see a whole other world than what you see from the outside. Here we are. Already right behind me, you see the garden and the greenery. Um, it's a little dark because it's tall ceilinged and very old, very, very old. This family, who are friends of mine, have been here since the 15th century. The house is, of course, not from the 15th century, it's from the 19th century. So, as we walk straight through, you see that we go through the house and to the courtyard. And that's the first place we're going to go, so that you see the great difference between the inside and the outside. So, we're walking towards the courtyard. And all of a sudden, you see that the simple house that we were at before, all of a sudden, opens up to a secret garden, walled and large, with all kinds of stairs and hidden places, and large, large trees, um, and old ornaments from different centuries, such as here, for example. And this is a completely private garden, and it's the other hidden side of the exact same house that you saw very simply from the street side. So I'm not going to go inside the garden, but you can see it just goes on and on and on. I'm going to show you the other side of the house. Here it is. Here's the house. Um, and here's my window. This is where I'm staying. They put me in a very nice, they put me in the old parents' bedroom. So we're going to go upstairs and you'll take a look at what these houses looked like in the 19th century. Because my friends that inherited this house um, have not really fixed it up. They, part of it is economics and part of it was emotion. They just didn't want to touch anything. Um, we're going to go back inside from the dining room. So you're going to get, get a chance to see the interiors. So here we are in the dining room, which was pretty much untouched. Um, and it's a large, large room, tall ceilinged. You can see the old beams here painted over. Um, and of course it's full of windows looking to the outside. It's going to be a little dark until we get upstairs. But you'll get a sense to see what it looks like. Exiting the dining room, we're going through the, the stair chute, which is a beautiful oval staircase that goes up four floors following the building. So we're going to follow, we're going to follow the staircase up. Um, bear with me, because making this video going up the stairs is a little dangerous. I can actually fall <laughs> and then we'll all have a laugh. Um, so I'm going upstairs now. And you're gonna see the room where I'm staying, which is the old parents' room. Okay, so here we are. And here it is. As you can see, the first thing to see is that it's full of light. It's the same garden that we had um, downstairs. And it's huge. It's hu you see the mirrors? There are mirrors everywhere to make the space look even larger. But the space is huge and it's full of portraits. The, the friends that own this house for all these centuries have, um, <clears throat> were painters. So, and they were painters after painters after painters, the great-grandparent, the grandparent, blah, 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 blah. We're all painters. And they each painted in a different style. And through all the walls, you see their paintings. Voila. <clears throat> and the mirrors. The, here are the bedrooms. This is one of the bedrooms where I sleep. I, I never make my bed when I travel. Uh, and here are the large windows with the curtains like you're used to from the films. And we're going to go out towards the, the window and look and take a little peek on the outside. And you see again the garden terrace. The garden from my window. And then underneath the place where we have breakfast. And one last thing, we're going to go right outside my bedroom now and see the living room, the formal living room, where the family gathers and where they receive guests. So we're going to go outside in the hallway, it's a bit dark. You're going to see another bedroom right over here, very classical. Nothing has been touched. 
um, the wallpapers, everything is how it was. And we're going to go inside here and you're going to see the living room, which because it has all these wonderful paintings, it's kept pretty dark, pretty subdued, so it's going to be a little dark. Um, but you get the feeling, the fantastic fireplace right over here, with a mirror on top, like usual. The piano, where the family entertained itself and in cold winter nights, when the rain was hitting against the window pane, and you know the little child would play piano for the hours while the parents stayed here, and maybe in this table they played cards, had a little aperitif. Um, and finally, the paintings. Uh, this is an example of a great-great-grandparent who painted the picture of his daughter, who is sitting right here very proudly, staring out the windows towards the garden. Anyways, I just want to share with, with this with you because it's very rare that you have a chance as a tourist, as a traveler, to see something original and to see how it used to be. Because normally we stay in hotels or places like that that are, not renovated, that are renovated and they lose this particular patina of time. But here it is. Anyway, long video. Take care. Nomad Dimitri from France.